Looks good? Let's go. A shoe that contains human blood sold for $1,018 a pair and all the triple six pairs that were made were sold within a minute. These are Satan shoes. I personally found them very haunting initially, but there's more to that. So let's try to find out why there is so much fuss around these Satan shoes and what's the whole controversy about. Let's go. Let me take you back to 2019 when Lil Nas X, an American rapper and singer, collaborated with MSCHF Mischief Studios based in Brooklyn, New York to create Jesus shoes using Air Max 97 as base sneakers. Okay, for all those who don't know who Lil Nas X is, check out this famous song. Ride till I can't no more. I got the horses in the back. Now coming back to these Jesus shoes, the speciality was that it had holy water in the base of the shoes and since these were limited in numbers, they sold out instantly. This particular release was promoted by rapper and singer Drake as well. Now fast forward to March 2021 when Lil Nas X again designed and created a sneaker using Air Max 97 as the base sneaker and this time it was the Satan shoes. Shockingly, it had one drop of human blood. The same shoes were used in his recent music video Montero Call Me By Your Name where we can find Satan wearing the same shoes so this clarifies that it was pretty much planned. In a statement released by Mischief Studios recently, they clarified that the blood used in the shoes was from six of their own employees. Now that was a bit gross. Apart from this human blood aspect, there are so many design elements in these sneakers that are closely related to the devil's theme. Triple six is a devil's number and that's why only triple six pairs were released. 665 pairs were sold within a minute. The last pair was retained by Mischief and they didn't intend to sell it. I really don't know the reason for that. The retail price of these shoes was set as $1,018 based on a connection with a verse from Bible and that's why they have Luke 10 is to 18 mentioned on the shoes. You can also find a pentagram and an inverted cross around the shoe tongue and that's again closely associated with the Satan theme. Now these Satan shoes were released on 29th of March of the same year and Nike on the same day sued Mischief Studios for trademark infringement. Apparently there was a backlash from the Christian community and people threatened to boycott Nike brand considering that the shoes used were Nike's Air Max 97. Fortunately for Nike, they won the case. As per the lawsuit, all 665 Satan shoes that are sold will be recalled and Mischief Studios will offer a full refund to the buyers. A statement quoted from the lawsuit says, Mischief and its unauthorized Satan shoes are likely to cause confusion and delusion and create an erroneous association between Mischief's products and Nike. Surprisingly, Lil Nas X name wasn't mentioned in the lawsuit. Despite that, he did come out with an apology video, but I'm telling you, he's a real badass. So the moment he's about to say sorry, the video cuts out and the Montero music video starts playing. And I just want to come forward and say, Okay, let's try. Bye, 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 bye. Now here is the interesting part. Mischief Studio has a question to ask. Why did Nike made a legal move when Jesus shoes were released under the same collab a couple of years back? And I do find a reason for this. When the collab wasn't accepted by people and there was a backlash, Nike instantly distanced itself from this whole subject to secure its brand image. In times to come, it will be quite interesting to see how both of these brands react to each other in public space. By the way, do tell me guys, what do you think about these bloody Satan shoes? Do share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I hope you enjoyed watching this insightful video and if you did, please share this with your friends also. Till my next video, you guys stay fit and keep watching Smart Kicks.